Good morning, and welcome to Oliver Lee Memorial State Park. Whew, this is a chilly night. Woods breakfast burrito, or in this case, back desert breakfast burrito. Mmm. If you're a desert rat and love deserts, especially the Chihuahuan Desert, Oliver Lee is the place for you. I think it's really nice of them to put uh, benches like this along the trail. Good places to sit. I don't know what kind of cactus this is, but this is about the biggest one I've ever seen. It's incredible. One golden, lonely tree on the side of a mountain. And a lot of birds. That means water. The trees and the birds said, follow me and I shall show you water. And they did. I really wanted to get up there and follow the spring to its source. There's more big trees up there, but couldn't quite do it. And I have another really cool part of this park that I want to show you. The spring comes down and it must often fill this pool before continuing its journey out into the Tularosa Basin. <laughs> So I know this is going to be hard to see on the camera, but I've done some pretty dumb things for these videos. I just literally crawled on my hands and knees through this hole because it looked like a game trail and game trails lead to interesting things. One of the things I came across was another pile of scat. But what's really interesting about this one, I'm not sure, but that looks a lot like lion scat based on the size, kind of what's in it. Can't be sure, but I think that's mountain lion. Thought I was kidding, didn't you? It's really the only way in here. I'm not sure what the real name of this cactus is, but a lot of people call them horse cripplers. And the reason they're called horse cripplers is because they have kind of these curved spines on them, very, very stiff, and they get in horse's hoofs and make it hard for the horse to walk. Horse crippler. These are cool little seed pods on this creosote bush. And um, it's kind of an interesting look at how things adapt in a desert creosote has uh, kind of a waxy coating on it. But then you can see these seed pods have kind of a bunch of hair. And that hair absorbs water, allows them to uh, better grow. You know what we have? A complete video. Here's some scat. Now, this one's really interesting. Probably coyote. But the fact that it's black is very interesting. Probably, obviously something it ate turned its scat black. Not sure what that would be. This is most likely coyote. I don't want this video to be too scat centric, as if that's a possible thing. But here's more of that black scat. There's seeds in there. I'm thinking maybe the mesquite seeds, but the interesting thing here is this one's fresh. There's a lot of flies buzzing around it and all. That tells us that 
This is a recent deposit. One of the things that I always love about New Mexico is how quickly things could change. For instance, last night in my tent, I felt like I was gonna freeze to death and now it's warm. And here, this is Dog Canyon. And in five miles, you'll be up in Cloudcroft. I would guess that by the end of this hike, you would be hiking in a little bit of snow based on yesterday's weather. It's 3,000 feet in, less, in just over five miles. There used to be a cool boardwalk up a maybe quarter mile through this canyon, but a massive flood about 10 or 15 years ago has wiped it out. And uh, it has really grown in and the hiking has gotten pretty difficult. This concrete work over here is not part of that boardwalk. It's actually part of an elaborate system of aqueducts and ditches and all that brought water down to Oliver Lee, who is a rancher, founding father of Alamogordo, and uh, namesake of this park that we're in. A wall of water, ferns, some sort of marine plants down there. These are all things that uh, do not expect to see very often in the desert of New Mexico. This is a really cool spot. And just like that, the canyon I've been walking up has opened up. And it looks like it's gonna be very hard to get past this one last barrier without taking a swim. So this might be it. Well, I climbed a little bit up out of the canyon. And here we are looking back into the canyon that we just climbed up. So we're gonna start to head back. It keeps going, but like I said earlier, it'll go all the way to Cloudcroft uh, if we wanted to. I wish I had time for that, but I don't. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.